Hey everyone, I'm sorry for the late video, but in case you didn't know, I'm currently living in a war zone and things are only getting worse and worse. And I just needed a few days to sit and reflect on everything before continuing. So without further ado, let's talk about the legal speed hacks, the infinite dead silence, and all the absolute meta loadouts that you should be using after the season six update. For the long range meta, the new battle rifle, the DTIR takes the number one spot even though it got nerfed shortly after the Season 6 update. And I have two different builds for you guys. The first one is the most common one that you're going to see, but personally, I'm using this build because the iron sights on this weapon are very clean. So I replaced the optic with the high grain ammunition for better damage at range and bullet velocity. And regardless of what loadout you use, do make sure that you use the Sanctum 60 long barrel because it offers better damage at range, but also recoil reduction. And if you're gonna use this build with the iron sights, this will pair perfectly because it takes away the negatives from the high grain ammunition, which is the added recoil, and you still have extra recoil control left on top of that. And if you're a sniper, the car 98 is still king, but I do have to give an honorable mention to the CAT AMR aftermarket part. Now, although it's not good at long range sniping, it is a funny loadout to use, especially that it can one shot at any part of the body. My you gay ass bro, ain't no way you're playing this bro, ain't no way you're playing this. Now, when it comes to the close range meta, this is where things become really interesting when it comes to this update. If you want to stick to using SMGs, the static is still the most popular option. It's not the best at anything, but it's great at everything. But if you want a slightly better TTK and better damage at range, you can use this Superi build that has all of those and great strafing speed. But if you want to try to break your enemy's aim assist and have really good strafing speed, then use this build instead. And now we still have three very interesting options. The new Kastov LSW LMG is gaining a lot of popularity, especially if you use the new under barrel that gives it insane strafing speed and you use it in tactical stance. But if you really want to break your enemy's aim and move at speeds that are even faster than this LMG, all while making zero footsteps as if you have a permanent dead silence, then the TAC Evolver LMG is the best way to go. Although it has a TTK that is slightly slower than the Castop LSW, and it makes up for that with a better accuracy, better fire rate, and double if not triple the strafe speed when you put it in tax stance. You guys might think that the people I'm fighting are bots, but I promise you, once you use this build, nobody's going to be able to hit you. And last but definitely not least, the Reclaimer 18 is the best close range option. I know a lot of you guys will be pissed because, oh, a shotgun, it's for noobs, but let's be real here. The shotgun has a lot of negatives, including that if you're not very close to your enemy, you will not be able to win your fight. And even then, you need to master a lot of skills. So this is the build, but if you truly want to know how to use a shotgun and take advantage of all its positives and negate all the negatives, watch this video as I explain every single thing you should think of and do. Thank you for watching guys and as always, a like and a sub are highly appreciated. And if I don't post as much as I do usually or I'm not streaming and committing to my schedule, I just want you guys to understand it's because of what's going on and I might not have any internet or I have to relocate and hopefully things turn out for the better soon hopefully stay safe guys and i love you all